Hi, this is Chris Schroeder. Welcome back to the ACCO Legislative Update. This Thursday was a deadline for bills to be heard on the floor, and any bills that will not heard will go dormant. While legislators were hearing bills on the floor, the big news for counties was the signing of House Bill 2676 by Governor Stitt. House Bill 2676 by Representative Wallace and Senator Thompson allocates $30 million to the CERB fund and will take effect on July 1st. Again, this is a big win for counties. Commissioners, be sure to thank your legislators. We also had another ACCO bill that was signed by the Governor, House Bill 1257 that eliminates the deferred comp cap for county employees was signed by Governor Stitt on Monday and takes effect November 1st. Another bill we have been following closely is House Bill 2150. This bill could limit counties' ability to regulate oil and gas activity on county roads and right-of-ways. This bill did not receive a hearing on the Senate floor and we hope it remains dormant for the session. Budget talks are continuing between the House, Senate, and the Governor's Office. If an agreement can be made in the next week, legislators could be finished sometime mid-May, well ahead of the usual adjournment of the last Friday in May. It was a busy week. Thanks for watching the ACCO Legislative Update. ACCO is stepping up with new ways to communicate. We are excited to bring you our new text alert system to communicate with all our commissioners, county personnel, and members. To get our latest information, follow the directions on the screen to opt in. For example, if you're a commissioner, text the word commissioner to 95577. It's that easy.